Luke, Luke 13. We got it? Yes. Yeah, Starting in verse 10. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years. All right. And was bowed bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. Amen. When Jesus saw her, he called her unto him right. and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. Right. And he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. God's word is already blessed. You can be seated. Amen. And the thought today on this Resurrection Sunday 2016 is it's time to straighten up. All right. All right. It's time to straighten up. Now this is not we, we this is not children's church. Yeah. All right. Yes, sir. This is big boy, big girl, yeah. strong meat. Yeah. And no baby bottles and no pampers in here. Yeah. That little rascal right there look like he look like he eating steak already. Amen. <laughs> It's time to straighten up. Right. Tell somebody it's time to straighten up. <laughs> okay, you don't want to talk to nobody else. Lay your hand on yourself and say it's time <laughs> to straighten up. Because that's where the first deliverance needs to happen. Yeah, the first the first thing needs to be straight is in us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crooked talking and bent over walking and bent over thinking and, and yeah. bent over singing and bent over preaching and bent over prophesying and right, bent over right. playing on the instruments and bent over testimonies and bent yeah, over everything yeah, yeah. in yeah. everything in your life was bent over. The scripture says Jesus was teaching. All right. uh -huh. Teaching. In the synagogue. Yes. yes. He was in church. Right. Jesus was teaching in the synagogue as was his custom. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was his custom to go to church. Yeah. All right. Amen. He didn't hit and miss. Oh, good. Oh, good. It was his custom uh -huh. to regularly. See, when you when when you can do something regularly, uh, yes, sir. that means you're no longer constipated. Yeah. Okay, let me talk a language y'all can understand. They have something what's called a laxative when you plugged up and you can't be regular like you're supposed to. So you take something for the irregularity and it causes you to open up and it causes everything that's supposed to come out to stay out. So Jesus was not stopped up when it was time to come to church. Jesus was not stopped up when it was time to go to worship. Jesus wasn't stuffy when it was time. So, so, so he was in the temple teaching, and and it says, "Behold, there was a woman which had a spirit stuck right there. Uh -huh. She had, she had a spirit. The, the Bible does not say she." had the spirit right. and the Bible does not have a capital S on that spirit no, exactly. which denotes it was not the Holy Spirit right. but she had a spirit, a spirit. spirit. it's a lot of spirits came in here today yeah. 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 ain't no sense in me preaching to the folk out there on Main Road because they ain't in here no. the word is for the folk in here it's a, it's a, uh -huh. yeah there was a spirit that came in here right? this woman had a spirit yeah, yeah. And the spirit, the earth spirit she had was a demonic. Amen. Come on, yeah, somebody. Amen. Come on, Pastor. Come on. Yeah, she had a spirit yeah. that was de de demonic. Demonic. That bent her oh, over. Amen. Mm. All right. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you think you straight. Mm. Oh, yeah. But everybody that can see through, uh -huh. they see you bent over. Oh, oh, Jesus. You think you hide it. But people that can see through see you there. Yes. Just because I don't say nothing. Just because I don't acknowledge you in the message every time. I know you think that's what the preacher do. Oh, he all in my business. You ain't that important. Amen. I ain't spent all week laying before God to get you, to get you told. Amen. 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 Jesus. 
What happened is the Holy Ghost is getting in your business hey. to try to straighten you up. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Glory to God. Right. Thank you, Jesus. The only thing that we get offended with is truth. Hey. Don't get mad at a lie. Hey. Yeah. Don't get mad when you lie to me, Archbishop. But when you tell me something and I get angry, the evidence is that something you said to me had truth in it. Hey. That's the truth. Amen. Yeah. That's why you've been. Oh, right. oh, oh, can't handle the truth. The truth. The truth. Right. They said that in a movie, but they yeah. said that in a pulpit. Right. This woman was bent over. Yes. And the Bible says she had been that way for 18 years. I want to point out a couple things about this woman. The Bible says she couldn't know why she could not lift herself up. All right. You've been trying for a long time to lift yourself up. Uh -huh. Oh, y'all won't talk back to her. Uh -huh. uh -huh. you, you, you keep trying to lift, you keep trying to get a do-it-yourself kit. Jesus. She could not for 18 years, mother, she could not lift uh -huh. herself uh -huh. up. Oh, yeah. But I want to tell you something about this woman Bishop, that's an indictment on us today. For 18 years, the woman was bent over, but she was in the temple every Sunday. Every Sabbath, she was bent over, but she was in the temple. Every Sabbath, she had to get dressed bent over. Every Sabbath, she had to roll out the bed bent over. Every Sabbath, she had to walk down the street Every Sabbath, she had to deal with the folk looking at her funny because she was bent. How would you feel if you came in the temple and everybody looked at you funny because you was bent? And no matter what she did, preaching, teaching, anointing, choir singing, she came bent over and she left. The same way she came. That's an indictment on us today. Because if we break a nail, if we get a hole in the pantyhole, if the cowboys win and then they come on TV today, I ain't coming to church. But this woman was bent over for 18 years. And she came Sabbath after Sabbath. She left with tears in her eyes because of the way the people looked at her. She left with tears in her eyes because she didn't have the brothers asking her for her number. <laughs> like the straight up and down. Y'all ain't gonna talk back to me today. <laughs> then none of the brothers offer her lunch after church. <laughs> because she was bent over. over. But the fact that she was bent over did not stop her from coming to the temple. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And the reason she did it for 18 years was because every time Archbishop she got up, she said, this might be the day. Amen. 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 This might be the day that my deliverance comes. This might be the day that I get free. This might be the day that he take the taste out of my mouth and the desire out of my heart. This might be the day that my husband gets saved. This might Said this might be 
the day. All right. And how could I live with myself if this was the day that my healing was in the house and I stayed home? Somebody somewhere sentenced themselves to another 18 years by not showing up today. Sure did. Let me tell you something about this lady. People looked over her and didn't pay attention to her because they were already straight. See, it was success for her just to show up. Alright. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, the reason you can't rejoice with me is because my success don't look like success to you. My success look normal. My success is not normal to you. See, because you standing up straight, you don't identify with me because I'm bent over. That's why folk in the church stay bent over because the scriptures say, brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fall, ye which are... Oh, that's the problem right there. You gotta be spiritual to restore. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. My, my success yes, sir. means nothing to you because you don't understand what it took for me just to make it. In the first year, in the third year, in the eighth year, in the tenth year, in the twelfth year. In the 14th year. Amen. You imagine praying and fasting and believing God and you still stay yes. bent yep. over. Amen. 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 God. But it's something about her that calls her to not stop. See, you may think the blessing began when she got delivered. But I suggest the blessing began when she got bent over. Amen. Because she wasn't praying like that before she got. Amen. She wasn't seeking like that before she got. Uh -huh. You wasn't seeking like that before he left you. You wasn't seeking like that before you got sat down. You wasn't seeking like that before you got fired. You wasn't seeking like that before you got the diagnosis. You wasn't seeking like that until the money ran out. As long as you had the check, you was big baller shot caller. We knew you had the money because you quit coming to church. But the blessing began when a spirit was given permission. Scripture saying 1 Corinthians 5, turn his soul over to Satan. Turn him over to Satan that his soul might be saved. Satan, I don't rebuke you. You can shut that up. Because you have been turned. The reason You've been turned over to Satan. Uh -huh. It's because you didn't want to receive it. Preach, oh, man. Man. Preach, so man. now we'll turn you over to Satan. The scripture says in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, turn him over to Satan so his soul can be saved. You don't want it the easy way, so I'm going to give it to you the hard way because you want to do it your way. Let me get back over here. Let me... See, for 18 years, all she saw was bent. All right. All she saw, everything she saw was bent over. All right. But without being attacked, she would not have known he was a rewarder of those who diligently. Amen. Amen. Without being attacked, she would not have known to pray. Amen. Right. Right. Without ceasing. Amen. Without being attacked, she would know. The one that hunger and thirst after righteousness Amen. shall be filled. So see, all this came when she got bent. All right. All right. Oh, you didn't forgive till you got it. Yeah. Mm. And somebody in here today, you bent over right now because you don't want to forgive. See, you think forgiveness means to parole. But see, if, if when a person is on parole, 
they're still in bondage. Because yeah. you still got to report to me. Right. I still got to determine if you're doing well enough for me yeah. to right. release you. Right. See, so when I parole you, you still in bondage. Right. But when you pardon, See y'all, it just went it just hey, see, it, see when I pardon you, when you're pardoned, it's as if it never happened. So see, you keep paroling, folks, and you need to pardon somebody. Okay, let me bring it home. You keep paroling yourself. And you need to pardon yourself. Because the scriptures say a house divided against itself cannot stand. You always think that's talking about you and somebody else, but it's talking about this house right here. This house divided against itself cannot stand. You can't be a double minded man, it's unstable. Right here, Jesus wasn't expecting her. He wasn't looking for her. He wasn't waiting to receive her. He was in the temple tending to his father's business. And if you, I, we would learn to get to the temple and tend to our father's business, opportunities to give God the glory will find us. Amen. The opportunity found him when he wasn't looking for it. For money, but you can't get no money because you pay too much attention to money. But as soon as you quit chasing money, money will start finding you. They don't look for money. They look for the glory. See, a GPA is not a grade point average. A GPA is what describes the will of God. Because the will of God is good, perfect, and acceptable. Amen. That's, that's, the, that's the spiritual GPA. You want to find the will of God, look for good, perfect, and acceptable. If it ain't good, perfect, and acceptable, it ain't God. Quit telling me about the permissive will of God because it ain't in the Bible. Well, you know, God just allows the... Shh. Well, that must be the permissive will of God. No, that's your flesh. That's your mess. Amen. This woman, not even being looked for by Jesus, but on this day, All right. somebody say this day. This day. On this day, this day. On this day, on this day, when she showed up, uh -huh. he saw her. All yeah. right, God, oh, my God, my God. My God. He can yes, see Lord. you if you won't show up. Yeah. He can see you if you won't show up. If you want to lay in your mess, wallow in your mess. Sit on your can, get all you get, can all you get, sit on your can, sit in your mess, sit in your attitude. He can't see you, but if you will make your way to the temple, he'll see you. He ain't gonna see you at the club. I know people say, well, God can come to the club too. Yeah, okay, I'm telling you in the text. He didn't see her in the streets, he saw her in the temple. He saw her and he called her. My God. He saw her 
and he called. Yes. Quit looking for him to call you. Come on. You still bent over because you answered his call. I'm talking to the ladies because it's just about all the ladies out here. I don't know if it's Women's Day or what, but it's, it's all. But I know why all the women here because it was a it was the women that ran to the cross. It was the women that went to the tomb. Straighten up immediately. You don't believe your children are straightened up immediately. You don't believe you can go 
Responsibility to get you out of it. That's right. But it's not their responsibility to get you out of what you chose to do. Amen. Right. Right. Yes, sir. Stop yes. praying, Lord. If you find anything in me, mm. not like you, take it away. 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 And he responds back. You take it away, cause I didn't put it in there. stuff that you picked up. But I can't get rid of it. I can't take it, God. Take it. No. I didn't put it in your hand. Just like I had the power to get up, you got the power to put it down. Our Savior got up on the third And when they found the grave, when they found the grave, the napkin was folded. Right. And the garment was laid out. I want to say this to the young people. Before Jesus got up on the grave, he made up the name. We don't serve a sloppy Savior. If Jesus can fix his bed before he got out the grave, what you doing getting up leaving yours a mess every day? You take that home and tell them young folks in your house. The napkin was folded and the garment was laid out neat. Why you can't do what Jesus did? Uh, yeah, he got up with all power in his hand. And because he got up, you can straighten up. Straighten up. In your mind, straighten up. In your, in your mind, straighten up. I don't know what my man is reading, but it got to be interesting. Because he's been reading his Bible the whole time I've been preaching. God must be speaking to him diligently. God must be, the Holy Ghost must be flooding his soul with word. Because he's been reading the whole time we've been preaching. Maybe God gave him what he needed and it wasn't what we needed. I don't deal with pull. I don't deal. What, what was the word? Pull pit yeah. rhetoric. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> There's got to be order. Jesus. There's got to be order. My spirit is subject unto their spirit. Yeah. If they don't do it, you're not gonna see me come in here and do it. Yeah. That's right. That's right. If they don't say it. You're not going to see me come in here and say it. I'm trying to help somebody get straight today. We used to play follow the leader when we was growing up. And what the leader did, the follower did. And if you didn't do what the leader did, you lost. If you didn't follow the leader, you lost. shook no dice before. I know I ain't the only one. You act like the next joint you smoke won't be late. Don't act like ain't none of y'all never smoked no weed before. You act like the next club you go to won't get raided when you up in it. Don't act like none of y'all ain't never been to the club before. You act like the next 